Okay, um, it's very nice to see you. Um, my name is uh, Professor Jung Won Kim, and uh, I'm going to um, teach you uh, the principles of uh, 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 product uh, manufacturing drawing. Okay, um, so uh, this time uh, I, I will going to start with the introduction. Okay, um, this is my brief uh, biography. Um, as you see uh, in this biography, um, actually, actually uh, I became, uh, I joined uh, this uh, school, uh, Seoul National University, uh, a little uh, very late, uh, comparing to the uh, to my uh, friend, because um, I spent. Uh, Mm, almost 10 years uh, in industry before I joined this school. And especially uh, as you see in these red letters, uh, after uh, I got my uh, master degree, uh, I, work, I worked in the uh, machine tool division of uh, Daewoo Heavy Industry. Uh, which, uh, which is now uh, Dusan InfraCore. Uh, so at the machine tool division, uh, I spent my uh, four and a half years in the shop floor um, to uh, uh, live with many technicians in assembly department or in the, the product development uh, uh, department. So based on uh, that industry experience, uh, after I become a professor at my school, I lecture, I developed a ser series of lectures on the uh, design, uh, engineering design. And, and uh, this lecture is one of uh, uh, them, uh, which, is, uh, which will deal with the principles of uh, product manufacturing drawings, uh, which is based on my uh, real industry experience. So for this, um, uh, uh, Efforts, efforts on uh, developing uh, some design courses. I got uh, many teaching awards uh, from my school and uh, and also the SNU Engineering College. Um, but I'm very sorry that there is no uh, proper English textbook for my lecture uh, because. Uh, of course, there are so many um, uh, engineering drawing textbooks uh, written in, in, in USA, uh, but, uh, but the textbooks are a little different from the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Korean, uh, Korean standard. So of course, it's not that uh, big difference, but anyway, uh, Anyway, uh, there are so many differences. So I decided that uh, I, I'm 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 I, uh, I'm not uh, using any English textbook. So please refer to my lecture slide, which uh, which I will use uh, throughout uh, this uh, uh, lectures. Okay, all right. Um, so uh, of course there is a Korean version of. Uh, uh, this lecture. So, if you are interested in the uh, uh, the Korean uh, version textbook, please refer to the uh, uh, which will I call it uh, in English name uh, in Korean name. So, which I call Kigegongak uh, Jedo, uh, which the publish uh, is Munundang. So, which is written by my name. So. If you understand Korean language, please refer to that textbook, okay? All right, um, so this lecture slide files uh, will consist of uh, eight, lec eight files. So see, you, you see the list of eight files, right? So, uh, so uh, there are eight files, so I recommend that uh, you uh, uh, listen to every uh, eight lectures. Uh, each lecture will uh, last uh, or slightly uh, more than one hour. So please uh, 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 
look through all these eight uh, lecture files, okay? All right. So, um, so as, uh, before I uh, start uh, the main main uh, theme, uh, I like I like to define what is mechanical engineering, all right? Because I assume that your your students uh, who just begin the study on mechanical engineering. So, so this is my definition, uh, but I think that mechanical engineering is to study the designing the main body of a new product. Okay, uh, this is the first step. Uh, I will show you the the second step uh, in next slide. But before you. Know, to develop a, a new product, first uh, process is that you design the main body. Every product has uh, its own main body. Okay, so um, uh, the automobile that is a product, but automobile there is a main body is the uh, the um, the uh, uh, four fields and engines and engine drive uh, the four fields. That define the dynamic motion of the automobile. That is the main, main body, all right? So, um, so if you uh, try to develop a new product, the first process is that you design the main body. Main body. So for example, uh, you see at this uh, 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 Mars rover opportunity, uh, this is uh, this is uh, one product, and this opportunity there is a main body which defines its own uh, dynamic motion. You see, so there are fields uh, which is contacting the surface of Mars land, right? That is a main body. So, as you see, this is a mechanism which is used as a main body for the Mars rover opportunity, which we call it the uh, rocker bogey mechanism. So in this dynamic uh, movie clip, you see that two fields and one fixed uh, frame. That is the uh, main body of uh, automobile. But, uh, but it has a pivot joint and and the fixed link is connected to the other fields, and then it has the uh, three field and uh, left side three field and right side three field, so it, it, so it has a six uh, six fields. So this is a Rakabogi mechanism. So using this Rakabogi mechanism, uh, the Mars rover can. Uh, go around in the very co uh, very curved uh, surfaces, right? This is the advantage of Rakabogi mechanism. So, for so since you adapt this uh, Rakabogi mechanisms, you can make uh, the Mars rover opportunity go go over the very large obstacles, comparing to the size of its own hill. Okay, and uh, the the uh, Plane, the plate is uh, the the level of plate is not uh, changing. This is the power of Rakabogi mechanism. This is the main body for the uh, Mars rover. So, so mechanical engineering. So once you design the uh, the uh, main body of a new product, then and then the next next step is combining the main body. Uh, with its own, with its uh, low-level units, uh, to synthesize them into a product. So main body, and it has the many uh, low-level units. So if you combining low-level units with the main body, then you can uh, synthesize it into a product. So design uh, mechanical engineering is to study to study to design a main body of a new product and also combining it with its raw level units to synthesize them into product. That is, uh, uh, that is what the mechanical engineering is dealing with. So it is a very basic uh, engineering. Uh, so, 
So if you uh, study mechanical engineering, mechanical engineering, then you can have a very huge potential as an engineer. This is a very, uh, very, very basic, basic uh, engineering study. Study. So okay, but it means so it means that study uh, mecha mechanical engineering is very, very difficult. Okay, so as a uh, so as since you begin to study mechanical engineering, you have to understand that it is very big, it has a very big potential. So it is very difficult. So I hope that uh, you are very strong, challenging uh, spirit uh, as a uh, as a student to study mechanical engineering. All right. Okay. So this is a main body, and there, there are many uh, low-level units, such as a proof hand. We have to combine the proof hand into the main body. And also new material is necessary. And also communication device and control units. And it, it has software all combined into the main body, and, and then it, uh, it becomes a product. as. Uh, as a, a mass rover opportunity. Okay, all right. So this is the, uh, an example which uh, our lab is de uh, has developed. So it is one example of a product, right? So this is the uh, mobile welding robot, which is installed in the shop floor, uh, in the in the in the uh, installed in the shop floor to uh, manufacture the very huge uh, ship, okay? This is also, um, and this is the robot for cl cleaning the vertical walls of tall buildings. So uh, you see, uh, the main body is, uh, is climbing up and down of the rope. So you, if you once uh, install a rope to the, to the tall building, then uh, instead of human being, human, human, human technicians are hanging on the rope. The robot, this robot is hanging on the rope and going up and down. And it has two propel, propellers, which propel its force onto the surface to obtain the cleaning force. And so then uh, uh, it can clean uh, the vertical walls of tall building. This is a, an example of a product which uh, the mechanical engineer is developing, all right? This is also uh, our lab is developed, uh, developing uh, a, diver, a diver robot which works in the water of uh, whose depth is within uh, 30 meter, meters. So you see, this is a, a, an example uh, of a product. And also, um, I like to emphasize I like to emphasize that mechanical engineering, uh, we are not dealing with the uh, product or robot which is used in the industry environment. Also in our home environment, our mechanical engineers, we can uh, design a uh, very excellent product. Uh, like, uh, for example, this is a, a conceptual design of the SNU smart robot. Uh, which, he, uh, which we uh, uh, generated a few years ago. And, and you see, it has the uh, smart robot and app, apps, uh, application software can be up, uh, downloaded and updated. So this is also uh, which mechanical engineers are developing, okay? So, so mechanical engineers are uh, able to design and manufacture a product that was never thinkable before. This is the potential of mechanical engineers, right? And uh, uh, so, uh, and which is based on the creativity and analysis power. So as a, uh, as a mechanical engineer, uh, as an undergraduate student, for pursuing mechanical engineering. Maybe you are going to uh, study the dyna uh, some uh, mechanics, uh, four mechanics. There are four 
uh, typical mechanics uh, courses in mechanical engineering, which is uh, dynamics and solid mechanics and also uh, thermodynamics and and what is us uh, the uh, dynamics solid the mechanics and thermodynamics and uh, what is that ah the uh, solid uh, fluid mechanics so there are four uh, major uh, mechanics courses and if you study that uh, major uh, courses mechanic courses you can get the, uh, you can you can develop your analytic power analytic power means that if you want design a product you can, then you have to uh, you have to uh, uh, calculate if we, the function will be okay successful or not based on the uh, analysis analytic power right Every time you, you make a real prototype and test it, and if you get some failure, then you change your design. Every time you cannot make uh, the real prototype. That is what the amateur uh, inventors are doing. As a professional engineers, you need the analytic uh, power to uh, uh, calculate that your design is successful or not, okay? So you're going to study that mechanics courses for obtaining the analytic power. But after that, after that, you are going to study some design courses. Based on that design courses, you are going to develop your create creativity power. So in right hand, you have a creativity power. Left hand, you have analytic power. Then uh, you can, uh, you are able to design and manufacture a product product that was never think covered before that is what mechanical engineering is uh, study okay that is the objective of mechanical engineering so so uh, but it's very very true true that this study is very difficult because you have to both analytic power and creativity that is very difficult to obtain but I recommend that uh, you study this mechanical engineering. Then after graduation, you, there are so many excellent uh, future career is are waiting for you. All right? Okay. Uh, and then uh, you see, if you, you if you, you are developing a project design project team, which uh, includes uh, ME mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering, WE electric and electrical engineering, computers, materials engineers, and also industrial, engi industrial engineers, designers, industrial designers, sales, marketing, patent attorney, or lawyer. That interdisciplinary team, who will be the leader? Who will, who will lead this interdisciplinary team? Okay? Of course, it's true that uh, the leader must know the design itself. Then, at, in, that, in that sense, mechanical engineering engineers has a big, very big potential to, to become the project leader, right? Okay. So next generation, if you are next generation engineers, then you should, you must have the capability and challenging spirit to design and develop products that were never think of before. That were never, never think of before. Okay? This is a very challenging task, you know? So, uh, since you, uh, as an old generation engineers like me, uh, when I was young, when I was in the indus industry, at the time, I just uh, bro bring the drawings which are designed by the by the advanced countries like Japan or USA. Then I got the drawings, and then we focus on the manufacturing and manufacture the product based on that drawings. And then uh, we so we try to survive to s sell this our product to the 
uh, export our product to the, uh, the other foreign countries. That is what I did as, a, as an engineer when I was young. But, but you, are, you, are, you are going to become the next generation engineers, so then uh, you must uh, have the capability and challenging spirit to design very innovative product, all right? So, to develop a, a, a innovative product, uh, you must be able to read and make your own product drawings, right? If you have very nice design ideas, then you have to ex express that idea into the drawings, into the product manufacturing drawings. Why? Because then you are going to uh, send these drawings to the technicians in the industry, then they are going to make uh, your own product. So you must, uh, um, so you have to learn the prin principles for uh, product manufacturing drawings. When you, when, you, when you try to make a drawing, drawings, you must obey some principles. Then, they, then the technicians in the industry will understand your drawings, right? So this is very, very important to become, uh, to, uh, to develop innovative products, then the drawings uh, should be professional. Okay, the drafting, uh, which in Korean language we call it jedo, Drafting is to uh, is like a, to speak a graphic language, graphic language, right? So graphic is the uh, uh, idea ex expression by using lines and symbols on the 2D plane. So that is a graphic. So a part drawing, a part means a product actually. Actually, a part is uh, when in indo in industry, part means. Uh, a, uh, a, 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 a subsystem, which is, uh, so part, part is uh, like a, if you're automobile, then automobile consists of many parts, tires and engines, and uh, there are so many parts are combining together to make uh, one product. So part drawing is uh, the drawing uh, for express a part, right, part drawing. Part drawing is, uh, uh, is a, a shape description of a part, which we call it in Korean language, bupung, a uh, shape description of a part by graphic method uh, with the, the additional information such as dimension. So, so the graphic is the, uh, by graphic method, you, you are going to express the shape but part drawing, the shape, uh, only shape description is not enough. You must add the proper information, uh, such as uh, dimensions and, uh, and, uh, and the others, the others, okay? And so drafting is to make uh, part drawings, is drafting, right? So, so uh, drafting is a tool to express one's, one's uh, design idea on the paper. So graphic language, uh, so this, this is graphic language, uh, which is used as a standard in industry, okay? So this is a communication tool, which are used in the industry. So if you couldn't, if you do not understand the communication language in the industry, then how can you communicate with the other people? So. So this is a very, drafting is a very important graphic language. So, so my lecture is to, is to learn the grammar of the graphic language, okay? If you, if you learn the foreign languages, the grammar is very important, right? If the language is not based on the proper grammar, who will understand your language? So, so this is the same analogy to my lecture. So if you understand it, this, uh, the learning the lo, uh, in my lecture deals with the uh, grammar of the graphic language of drafting, right? So if you learn uh, foreign languages, the practice is very important. Without, without any practice, how can you uh, uh, 
master the foreign languages. So practice is uh, uh, everything. So home homework is very important. So since this is the uh, just uh, the the one side the lectures, so I'm afraid that uh, uh, I cannot uh, give you real homework uh, and cannot give you feedback. But but. By your own, you must uh, uh, you must uh, solve many uh, homework, homework, and by that way you pr uh, practice uh, uh, the drafting as much as you can. All right, all right. And there are so many typical drawings in the engineering area. So part drawing, pictorial draw pictorial drawing, electric engineering drawing and architecture drawing. There are uh, so many types of drawings. But in my lecture, I'm going to deal with uh, the product drawing. This is a product drawing. And also, uh, pictorial drawing. Mm, pictorial drawing is very important, actually. Very, very important. So um, in later in my lecture, I will, uh, uh, I will uh, emphasize that uh, uh, that you must uh, uh, practice uh, the pictorial drawing. So there, are, uh, there will be uh, many homeworks on this. So pictorial drawing is uh, one of very uh, important uh, communication skills. So when you, uh, when you discuss uh, the conceptual design idea, then you have to make a pictorial drawing by hand sketch not using any uh, CAD tools or uh, rulers. By freehand sketch, you must uh, finish your pictorial drawing as fast as you can. So this is very important. You need uh, many practice for uh, this, too. So, so we are going to deal with the uh, product drawing and pictorial drawing. OK? All right. And. Uh, and, and also, uh, because the Korea standard, standard is very important. So, uh, so our, uh, our uh, lecture will be based on the uh, Korea standard. So uh, the Korea uh, standard for, uh, there, is, um, uh, there are many Korea standards for many areas. So first of all, first of all the A, uh, group A, and the other four digits, number, four numbers. So A group is deal with the basic standard for all areas. And B group is uh, mechanical engineering area. OK? So A, A, is, uh, co A is covering all, all areas, A. And B, you see B. B is mechanical engineering. And then C is electrical engineering. So that then that is the one example of the importance of mechanical engineering, and and also, and uh, for Korea standard for drafting is uh, the in A group all areas all areas A uh, and f uh, the number five is uh, on drafting the standard for all engineering areas in B group B many standard which is included in the B group. The B is ME area, ME area. The number one standard is drafting basic, drafting. The second standard, ME area, second standard, also drafting. So it means that drafting is very important among all standards. And KS conforms with uh, ISO, so if you uh, if you observe the principles of uh, product drawing, which is uh, dealt with in my lecture, then you generate your own uh, uh, drawings. Then that drawing is based on the Korea standard. And it, it will all uh, the international uh, engineers will understand uh, uh, your drawing, because KS uh, conforms with ISO. And also, if you like to uh, search for Korea standard, you can access this uh, 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 this site, okay? Which is the uh, controlled by maintained by Korean government. 
Okay, all right. And uh, and uh, first of all, I like to uh, ask you to prepare some drafting tools because uh, since uh, uh, of course we are going to learn uh, CAD. Computer-aided design tool. There are so many CAD tools, like a SOLIDWORKS. But uh, it's very true that uh, we are going to generate, you are going to make your drawings uh, by using the uh, CAD tool. OK? But I emphasize that even, even though you are, you are uh, uh, making your drawings by using CAD tools, you must, uh, uh, your drawing must observe uh, the drawing, drawing principles, which is uh, which uh, I'm going to teach. So, uh, to understand so drawing principles, uh, you need to practice drafting uh, very intensively, and uh, you don't need to uh, turn to the CAD tools to generate your drawings before you understand the drawing principles. So, I recommend that you first uh, pra uh, tr uh, practice your uh, your homework by using some drafting tools, by hand drafting tools like uh, rulers, triangle, tri triangle rulers. It, this is a very general rulers. Uh, and also mechanical pencils. Yeah, I, I, I think that you are, you are using the uh, 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencils, but uh, th this time you need to buy a 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencils. And also uh, circle templates, circle templates to draw circles. Not anymore. You are you are using compass to generate circles. You, you draw circles by using uh, circle templates uh, shown here. Okay, so two types. One is uh, uh, the uh, circle templates, which you can uh, draw circles whose diameter is one to thirty-six. 36 millimeters, small one, and large one is for the di for the di uh, the circles for circles whose uh, diameter is 37 to 51 millimeters. So you need two circle templates. Okay, all right, and um, and uh, the, the the largest drawing drawing paper in the world is A0 size, A0 size. The width is around 0.2 meter, and then height is 0.8 meter. So this is the largest uh, size of the drafting paper. So you, if you divide uh, in half, divide A0 size into half, then you get A0, A1, and and the half of the half of the A1 size is A2, and A3, and A4. So so um, A4, the textbook says that the uh, textbook is uh, here. This is the Korean version textbooks. And this is A0 size, A0 size. So this is A0 size. And uh, since this is the, uh, this is the, um, the lecture on, uh, 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 on the drawing, engineering drawing, so I uh, emphasize that the textbook itself, it has to be uh, even, text, uh, should be age or size. So, okay, right, so, so I, I, I recommend that uh, not only in case of drafting, I ask you to use a, a full size in your, in your life once you become, once you are the engineers. So, um, so for the report paper or the the the, the uh, lecture note, I recommend I recommend that you are using only A zero A four size uh, paper, right? All right. And also, so since the largest size is A zero size, which is the uh, width is only one one point two meters. So if you if you design an automobile, which is very huge size, then you need to express that uh, automobile design into the uh, A0 size. Then you need you need that uh, reduce the scale, right? So you you have to reduce uh, 
the, the uh, reduce uh, the shape into onto the onto the drafting paper. So in that time, you are using reduced reduce the scale. Uh, of course, one-to-one -one scale is recommended, but so in that in reduced the scale, uh, you you are you have to use. Uh, 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 one, one, one to two, or one to five, one to ten, one to twenty, one to fifty. Okay, so reduce it into the uh, half or twenty percent, ten percent. You are not using one to three, one to four, and one to seven. Seven. This scale is not used. Okay, and also you can. Uh, in, you can use enlarge enlarge scale enlarge the scale uh, when you are designing the small part then you can express the shape uh, into the large size then in the case you are using enlarge the scale so in the time also 2 5 10 20 50 uh, scale is used okay you are not using uh, the three times four times seven times uh, that scale is not not recommended and also the scale, the scale which you, you used in generate these uh, drawings, you, the scale must be, the number, the scale number uh, must be written in the title space of the drawing paper, title space. So, so title space is here. This is a title space, okay? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm very sorry that um, this is a Korean version uh, drafting uh, paper. Uh, drawing paper, drawing, drawing paper. So, uh, so they're a Korean language, but I translate into the uh, English. So please refer to the English uh, 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 words. Uh, so you, you, you can generate one uh, original uh, using the ori original A4 size. You generate this format, okay? Referring to the English. Uh, uh, English words, which I uh, uh, write here, okay? So, for example, the Punmyeong is a part name. So, Jedo, uh, Jejil means materials. So, Kesu is a quantity. So, one by one, you, you use English words uh, in your format of the drafting paper, drawing paper, okay? So, and please do homework on the copy of this, uh, this original paper, okay? So make a one original paper and copy it. And then onto that copied original paper, you, you finish your homework, okay? On that copy, all right? Understand? Okay. But in the uh, title space, I recommend that the general tolerance is very important. In machining case, there are general tolerances. So you see, uh, there are some uh, length range, dimension range. You, you, uh, we recommend the, some uh, uh, tolerances. So uh, I will uh, explain it into the, uh, into the blackboard. So this is the title page, title page. So I don't know, this is title space. So you see, uh, the general tolerance is, is a general tolerance. General tolerance. General tolerance. So, when you design, a, for example, cylinder shape, okay. So this is a cylinder shape. Then, uh, then uh, you have to uh, express the dimension, uh, the size, size of this. Uh, uh, cylindrical shape like uh, like this okay then then in this case uh, 200 200 what is, what what 200 means what 200 mean the meaning of 200 is that uh, that the, as a designer, if you send if you send this uh, this drawing to the technicians in the field, it means that uh, you you hope you 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 expect in the in the in that moment you expect that 
200 is that make this cylindrical part, the length is 200 and within, within some allowance size, right? There is no way to uh, manufacture 200.0000. It is very, very uh, expensive uh, requirement. Maybe the cost would be cost to generate 200.000 200 uh, millimeter cylindrical part is maybe cost uh, maybe $10,000, more than $10,000. It's very expensive. So, in the case you may, you may give 200, uh, the number of 200, some allowance. What allowance? Maybe, maybe plus minus uh, 0.5, okay, right? Considering the function of this cylindrical part, maybe uh, 200 plus minus 0.5 would be enough for the function of this cylindrical part. And for 30 plus minus maybe 0.2 allowance. But, but every time, if you, if you, if you have to uh, uh, add this uh, allowance into the every number, in the drawing, then the drawing will be very complicated. So it is very, uh, so the, that good idea is that uh, without any allowance to each uh, number, each dimension, you just uh, refer to the uh, general tolerance area, okay? So if you 200, then if you're looking at the 200 range, there, there is uh, some allowance is recommended which we call it this allowance as the, as the uh, tolerance, which will be, uh, which you, uh, I will give you the lecture on the tolerance in later files. So anyway, right? So without any general tolerance, the, the, the drawing is meaningless, right? So this is very important to understand, okay? So, so, so general tolerance, uh, must be uh, added on the title space. Very important. Uh, so, all right. Okay. Uh, must be included in the title space. And then uh, maybe the student ID here uh, and, and student your name here. When you, when you submit your homework, maybe you can add your student ID and name here. And homework number, you see, at every, every homework there is a number. Uh, and then number, and, and then uh, number is at the bottom. Uh, we call it draw, drawing ID, drawing ID, okay. And party name, uh, next to the party name, uh, you can, uh, in every homework there is a party name, so you can uh, copy the party name, write that party name into the proper space. And scale here, scale, uh, scale uh, in, in right space, okay. And, and, and this, this symbol is very important. It must be included, but which I will, uh, I will explain it later, okay? Don't worry about it, all right, okay? And, uh, and units that uh, mechanical engineers uh, uh, must use is that the millimeter. For your whole life, since you are going to become the mechanical engineers, then for your whole life, you have to tell length, giri, length in units of millimeter. They will say centimeters. Okay, so since you are in, in, in industry, uh, uh, in industry, every mechanical engineers are using the units of millimeter. They are not using centimeters. So, in, so since you are the stu students to become uh, the mechanical engineers, uh, right from Right, right now, now you continue to uh, use millimeters, never say centimeters. So if you, somebody asks you how tall are you, then your answer must be, I am uh, 1,740 uh, uh, 1, tall, okay? No millimeter unit necessary. Just the, the number, 1,740 is enough, okay? Right? My height is, please practice. Never say that you, my height is 100, 
seven, uh, seven four, 74 centimeters. That would say centimeters. Centimeter has the smell of uh, amateur. Okay. All right. Okay. Never use centimeters. Okay. So and so, for example, a tolerance of uh, uh, point zero one will be assigned, and in that sense, uh, point zero one is point zero one millimeter. It is very natural. Okay. All the length sizes in your part drawings are in millimeter units, so you don't need to add millimeter next to the number. Okay. In previous example, 200, I just uh, write 200, not 200 millimeters. So never worry about the missing of unit. The units are all millimeters. Okay. For angle, we are using degree. 20 degree and weight, uh, we are using unit of a kilo, a kilogram. Kilogram is the standard, okay? But once kilogram, you see, notice that the kilogram uh, consists of small letters, K and G, okay? Never use uh, capital letter K. Capital letter K, capital li uh, letter K means Kelvin, the temperature unit, okay? Right? Small k is uh, uh, is a uh, one thousand, one thousand, right? Okay. K, uh, Kelvin, G, large capital letter G is a giga. Okay, it's not gram. Okay, so this is Kelvin gram, a uh, Kelvin giga. It means it, it, it is the uh, giga Kelvin uh, temperature unit, right? So, okay, uh, so small k is 1,000 meter or milli. Milli is uh, uh, 10 minus 2, uh, 10 minus 3, 10, uh, C, centi, uh, 10 uh, minus 2 square, okay, G, gram, K, Kelvin, temperature unit, mega, okay, 10, 9, mega, C, Temperature, G, giga, 10, uh, 9, all right? So, all right, uh, I will continue uh, chapter 2, uh, lines and letters. So, uh, there are basic shapes of lines. There are four uh, typical lines. So, full, uh, full line, uh, full line, and dashed line, and single chain and double chain lines. So four uh, typical types. And uh, so dashed line, um, maybe uh, the the length of line and space, maybe uh, a three three to one. So, but it means that uh, actually uh, the line length of lines is uh, larger than the space length. Okay, that is the recommendation. All right, uh, and. Uh, there are line names are uh, based on the standard. So first one is the typical one, is a thick, thick full line. Okay, we call it thick full line. So uh, so it means the thick line, thick line. Uh, and 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 looking at the other lines, you see, very thin thin lines, thin lines. Only uh, you see. Uh, Thick, thin, uh, single chain line, but uh, in I never, I never uh, see uh, this type of uh, thick uh, single chain line in industry. So if you if you neglect uh, these lines, all lines are thin, thin lines, thin lines, right? Very thin, thin lines, comparing to the uh, thick, uh, thick full lines. Okay, right? So, so this is the, uh, okay, there are so many, um, mm, so many, uh, so I uh, conversion all uh, in Korean language into the English, English, uh, English letters, referring to the uh, English textbook. So you may refer to the uh, name, names of, uh, uh, names. Uh, of the lines, line line names, which uh, you are going to use uh, throughout uh, your 
uh, these lectures, but you need you need you do not need to memorize uh, all names. So we are we are going to under uh, we are going to remember memorize uh, these na line names naturally. All right. Okay. And uh, and uh, the very important one in lines is that you uh, must use proper line width. Okay, the width of the visible outline, visible outline uh, should be uh, 0.7 millimeter, which is a thick full line, very thick. So use uh, the thickness is thickness is 0.7 millimeter. Okay, so using 0.7 micrometer pencil and push it strongly, then uh, you, you can generate a visible line with the proper thickness. And uh, that that of the other lines is 0.35 millimeters, which we call it thin thin lines. So use 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil and pull, pull it lightly, then you can generate a thin lines. Okay. The visible outline must be thick enough so that it could be distinguished from the other thin lines. All right? The thickness of line must be uniform throughout the drawing. Okay? All right? And method of to uh, draw circles is that uh, it's just uh, uh, using the circle template. You uh, make a circle. Not you are using the uh, com compasses. It's not recommended. Compasses is not recommended. So use a circle plate, and then uh, p uh, putting add, adding the proper th center line is important. So center line must be added to each circle, and uh, geometric symmetry is recommended. So for example, for example, this is not symmetric, but if you center line is uh, showing the symmetric circle, so the uh, the shape of the uh, center lines uh, also sh uh, symmetric is recommended. All right, and I, I like to mention that uh, there are many equally spaced uh, small circles. So you see, this, uh, from these photos, there are many uh, uh, bolts are located. Bolts are fastened to the ground, and you see, looking at these many bolts, so can, uh, so. Uh, Bolts are located along the along the circle cylinder in same shape, equally sa space. Who are who are going to design the, these small circles, which is not equally spaced? This is a, a absurd uh, absurd idea. Equally spaced. So there are so many equally spaced small circles in many prototype, many product. Okay, you see the the automobile tire at the, looking at the center. There are bolting the circles for bolting. This is equally spaced. So, so you are going to generate many equally spaced circles in your drawings naturally. So, in that case, equally spaced uh, uh, circles. Uh, the the center line, the center line is a circle. Okay, looking at the circles. For the for those equally spaced small circles, the center line is uh, also circle, and also the other center line uh, looking at the center of the large circles. This is the proper way of uh, making center lines for the equally spaced small circles. Okay, all right. So this is homework number one. So. Uh, draw the following part by the scale of one to one, and uh, distinguish uh, uh, the outlines. So distinguish the outlines with the center lines. By by what way? Distinguish uh, the outlines as a thick line, thick lines clearly thick lines, and center lines thin lines, thin lines. Okay, all right. Thickness, thickness is very important. Thickness of lines is very important. And you don't need to draw dimension, dimension lines. Why? Because you are not uh, learning the uh, 
because you are not, you didn't learn uh, how to draw uh, dimension lines. So you don't need to draw it uh, uh, until you learn it properly, as well as the dimensions. You don't need it. Uh, and, and then uh, just the shape, please finish uh, the shape, uh, okay? So you see, there are uh, equal, equal uh, space, uh, small circles, right? Equal space. So please practice the uh, draw the proper uh, center line for these uh, uh, equally spaced uh, holes, okay? All right? All right. And, uh, and the tips for, uh, uh, tips when you do homeworks is that no drafting, uh, do drafting only on the dis designated A4 paper mentioned, which I mentioned before, and please fill in your name, student ID, homework number, part name in proper uh, space. And if necessary, use reduced or enlarged the scale and fill it in the tighter space. The, the, uh, and, and, and if, if, if it is one-to-one -one scale or reduced or enlarged the scale, you must fill that uh, scale number into the, uh, uh, into the uh, scale space. And, and when you submit your paper, please do not erase any auxiliary lines which you made uh, to do your homework. Do not need to e erase that auxiliary lines, okay? All right. Okay, um, now I'm going to move uh, chapter three, uh, plane geometry. Plane, plane geometry, maybe you are going to learn, uh, learn it uh, when you are middle, middle school students, maybe. So uh, please refer to the uh, uh, plane geometry into my Korean version textbook if you understand Korean language. But among those uh, plane uh, geometry, I like to men mention two typical uh, uh, curves. Which one, well, first one is the involute curve, which call it involute. So involute uh, is, um, Involute is a spiral uh, curve. Uh, Involute is a, a spiral spiral curve traced by a point on a cord as it unwinds from around the circle of a polygon. So from the poly uh, circle, this is the uh, uh, cord, okay, cord line, okay, and this is unwound. If you unwind uh, those uh, cords from the uh, from a circle, then you pull it uh, into tightly in your side. Then the the end of the cord is making this type of spiral curve, which we call it involute. Okay. So uh, so it is applied to the gear tooth shape. So for example, this is the involute curve, right? And uh, the shape of uh, shape of uh, the um, uh, the gear tooth gear tooth is the inverse curve, okay? Inverse curve. So so this is a very unique curve, uh, which is used in the gear tooth shape. So um, maybe uh, maybe you, you you can generate a, a tooth whose, whose uh, shape is just a straight line. Imagine that the curve is a straight line, straight line, okay? Trapezoidal shape, like a straight, straight, and also straight and straight. And the other gear is also straight and straight. Maybe the, since if uh, the gear tooth has the straight line, straight line, then maybe manufacturing would be uh, more convenient. But why you have to stick to this type of complicated curve like uh, involute? In because you, you must use uh, the, the, curve, uh, the gear tooth shape must be involute. If it is not involute, if it is, for example, straight line, straight line, then uh, then the gear gear is uh, is 
if gear is engaged, engaged and disengaged, it, so it, then during that uh, engage be between the engagement and disengagement, the gear tools must be contact always, always. Okay. If if uh, the gear tooth shape is straight, then the uh, gear is just. Uh, if it is straight, then sometimes it is detached and contact detect. So, uh, so, so gear engagement is not smooth always. Then, then, um, then uh, driven gear, the driven gear, the uh, rotating speed of driven gear is just, is just uh, is jerking, going up and so. Then it generates a noise and, uh, is, and the energy efficiency is low and it can generate very high frequency noise and and also uh, the uh, the gear uh, tooth shape, gear tooth surface is uh, uh, is uh, is uh, that has large forces so so gear tooth shape is uh, broken very easily so involutive curve is very important in designing the gear tooth shape for for smooth uh, uh, Smooth uh, for for the smooth translation of the uh, of the rotating speed. Okay, all right, and and also uh, there's a cylindrical helix here. So you see, this is cylindrical helix. Okay, in the in the uh, in the three uh, D uh, space. So uh, th this is this is cylindrical helix is generated when the the point on the on the cylinder. This is a cylinder here, and there is a one point on the cylinder surface, and and this point is moving is moving outward, which is parallel to the to the center line of the cylinder, in the in the in the same speed, going upward at the same speed, and and also, additionally, the cylinder is rotating in the constant speed then then this point make a, make a, a, a cylindrical helix uh, in the 3d uh, space that is we call it a cylindrical uh, helix so uh, this is applied to the design of screws and springs okay the screws and springs uh, the cylindrical helix is used Okay, um, now um, I'm, I'm going to ex explain uh, projection. Uh, uh, the projection is, uh, is a method to draw a 3D object uh, on the 2D plane uh, by projecting visual rays uh, from the right light source to the 3D uh, object. So it's, it's very natural. So what we are going to do is is that to, uh, to uh, we, are, we are designing a 3D object, right? A part. Then we we uh, try to make a, a part drawing on the paper. So there should be a, a certain uh, method which he, uh, projects a 3D object onto the uh, 2D uh, paper, right? So this is a projection. So. In defining uh, projection, uh, maybe uh, we define a projection line. Uh, uh, is a line. It, this this it is a line presenting the visual ray uh, with, uh, from the light source. So uh, we call it a projection line. And projection plane. Mm, uh, this is a plane, uh, a 3D uh, shape is projected on. So this is the uh, uh, projection plane. And projection view is a projected shape on the plane. So this is the projection view. So, so now uh, this is uh, one example of projection view. Uh, but uh, since uh, the... Uh, but the line, uh, the projection line is uh, converged to one point. 
So, so it, it's very natural that uh, it, uh, this uh, uh, this line is projected on the uh, projection view, uh, like uh, uh, this uh, this line, uh, and and this uh, this edge, this line is projected like this. Okay, so the length is the projected line is the length it are different with each other, because. It, uh, because uh, it depends on the distance from the light source. So if it is far from the light source, then this line projected uh, uh, on the projection plane smaller than the than the than uh, this line uh, whose distance is closer to the light light uh, source. So actually, uh, the length, the projected length, is different. Uh, 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 depending on the distance from the light source. Uh, this we call it perspective projection. So the size of the projected view drawn on the uh, projection plane depends on the dist distance, distance from the light source. So it is uh, usually applied to the architecture drawings. Actually, it's very natural, right? Since our eye, the projection line is converged to our eye, right? So it, it's very natural. But in mechanical drawing, it is not accepted, you know? The same, same edge is uh, projected differently than uh, it, uh, in mechanical drawing, it doesn't make any sense. So, so what we are going to use is the orthographic uh, projection, orthographic projection. So the orthographic projection, the uh, the projection lines are parallel, uh, parallel with each other, parallel with each other. Okay. And so, since it is parallel, projection lines are parallel with each other. The size of a feature projected on the plane is constant, even if uh, the distance is changed. So and also okay. And, and also, if the angle between the projection plane and projection lines is 90 degree, we call it uh, orthographic projection here, orthographic projection. But if it is not, not 90 degrees, not vertical uh, to the projection plane, then we call it oblique projections here, oblique, oblique projections. So, but the oblique, oblique projection is not that uh, uh, frequently used in, in, in uh, making any uh, part of drawing. So, so we are going to use orthographic projection, all right? Now, uh, I, I'm going to explain uh, the method to obtain a multi-view drawing, multi-view drawing of a 3D object by orthographic projection. So you see, here, here uh, the uh, one uh, 3D object is located inside the uh, glass box, okay, glass box. When you locate the 3D, uh, 3D object in the uh, glass box, one main point is that you select uh, one, one surface of, of the 3D object, uh, maybe this, this place, this plane, okay, this plane, and make and make this plane parallel, uh, located the uh, glass box uh, as the one one surface, one plane, one plane is parallel to the to the this specific uh, surface of the 3D object, okay. Then uh, this this uh, glass box plane parallel to the this uh, specific. Uh, surface of the 3D project, okay? Can you understand me? Then now location is like this. Then, then now how you're going to make a, a, a multi-view drawing? It's a simple, right? Uh, okay, uh, let's, uh, I, I, I'm bringing uh, one object here, so let's go to the uh, uh, Blackboard board, all right? As I explained just before, uh, this is uh, the 3D object. Okay, now uh, uh, let's assume that uh, 
this is uh, this is uh, the uh, glass box. Even if it is not transparent, but let, let's assume that uh, this is a glass box. Now, I explained that uh, we selected the uh, specific surface of the uh, 3D object, okay, and then and then uh, locate this surface parallel to the uh, one one uh, plane of the glass box. So locate it, locate it. Then, then, then what I'm going to do is that just uh, in front, in front of the uh, of the one plane, just to make the project uh, projection view on the on the uh, glass by using orthographic projection. Okay, and then going into uh, going around to the uh, actually the left side. Drawing the uh, projection uh, projection view on the plane on the on the glass box on the on the plane of the glass box. All right. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. In the in the uh, right side and making a project a projection view. Okay. And also the top view, make a projection view. All right. Okay. Then uh, then the next step is folding folding the glass box. You see, glass box here, and to make a multiple drawing, now uh, you have to you have to uh, pull uh, you have to pull pull out each uh, plane of the glass box. As, uh, the reference is the uh, uh, front view, so pull out and pull out. Then uh, you make a multiple drawing like here. How did you uh, get this multiple drawing? Uh, referring uh, the the front view uh, for re uh, since uh, the uh, front view uh, is uh, fixed and and now you pull out pull out each projected view toward you towards you right pull. Projected view towards you. Pull out. Then you get the multiple drawing. All right. Okay. Uh, then. Okay. Then uh, if you from the multiple drawing, multiple drawing. If you let's assume that you get some multiple drawing with you. Then. Then. Uh, then, for example. Example, for example, if you get uh, some multiple drawing like this, then you get uh, this uh, this type of multiple drawing. Now, now, now uh, you try to uh, you try to uh, find out which 3D object is represent is represented by this multiple drawing. You, f you try to find out the 3D object which this multiple drawing try to represent. Now, that is the next step. Then, what you have to do is that uh, fix, fix the front view. Fix the front view. View. And then, the right side view, since this right side view, right side view is obtained as as you uh, fix the front view and you, you, you pull out towards you, and you got this multiple drawing. So next step, so next step is you you have to you have to you have to push you have to push this right side view far away from you. So so make make the right side view like this. So, so since you push push out the right side of the view from you, then the right side of the view is located like this in your head. It's your imagination. Okay. Then try. Then you try to find out which is 3D uh, object, which uh, this uh, layout is uh, uh, try to satisfy. Then maybe uh, the 
three D object, the shape would be would be like this. Okay. All right. The cone, which is cut uh, by this uh, position, cone. Right. This cone satisfy this two multiple drawing. This is how to how you read the multiple drawings. Okay. All right. Now I'm I'm going to summarize. So locate the 3D object inside the glass box, then align one, one surface of the glass box to be parallel to the front plane uh, of the object. Projection lines are parallel with each other and vertical to the plane, which means that this is also graphic projection. Okay. Now hold the hold the front panel and put Pull the uh, pull the other glass box panels towards you, okay. So when you try to imagine the image of the 3D object from the multiple drawing, you have to push the views far from you as you fix the front panel. So this is a front panel. You push the views far from you, as I explained at the blackboard uh, uh, just before. Okay. Then try to imagine which is 3D uh, shape, which uh, the uh, multiple drawing uh, satisfy. All right. Okay. So and and then and then uh, and there is a, some characteristic of the multiple drawing. So uh, first uh, thing is that the front view uh, presents uh, the dimensions of width and height. Front view. Width and height. Okay. So and and, and uh, but in from the front view, you cannot uh, uh, get any information of the depths of the three D object depths. Okay. Why? Because it's also graphic projection. And and side view uh, depths and uh, height, but not width, right? Top view. Uh, top view width and depth, but not height. Okay, uh, and, and and also checkpoint for correct multiple drawing is that the uh, it is all symmetric actually, right? So uh, so using this this front view, left and right view are symmetric. So you know uh, this is the uh, the. The, the inclined uh, surface is toward both toward to the uh, top view, and uh, for top view uh, the uh, uh, no, no 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 for front view the top view and uh, bottom view are symmetric even if it is is the hidden lines here but anyway the shape is symmetric. Uh, for right side view front view and rear view are symmetric. Okay, symmetric. So this is the checkpoint uh, if the multi view drawing is correct or not, right? And um, and and uh, what I explained uh, so far is uh, actually the uh, the third third angle projection, third third angle projection. So uh, so we are using only the third angle projection uh, and. So please refer to the other textbook if uh, the first angle projection, uh, what is, to understand the first projection, if you want. The first projection uh, is usually used in England and USA. But in, in worldwide, uh, usually the third angle, third angle is used. So don't worry about it. And, and uh, but the, the but you must put the symbol of the third projection in the tighter space. So as you see uh, here, okay. Here you know, you know, okay. You so this is third angle projection, which I explained uh, using the blackboard, right? So this is third angle. Uh, so in tighter space, third angle symbols and also. Uh, General tolerance must be included, uh, which I explained uh, in the previous lecture. Lecture, All right? Okay. Uh, now um, uh, you're going to use a visible outline uh, very, very frequently, 
And uh, visible outline is used uh, to show the surface, uh, surface edge. Okay, surface edge in A. It, uh, this is a surface edge. Yeah, it's a surface edge, a visible outline. But also uh, the cross line of two surfaces, like B. This is a cr cr cross, cross line of two surfaces, right? Cross line. Okay, cross lines. And, and uh, also uh, in the surface limit, it's very interesting, but this is not real line here. But in the visible outline, C is the surface limit of the cylinder, right? It is also uh, uh, expressed, expressed by the visible outline, okay? And uh, for visible outline, you are going to use thick full line to draw it, okay? A thick full line. This is all thick full line. And hidden line, is used to show the feature which is not seen from outside. It is, uh, it is uh, hide, it is hidden inside the object, such as the hole and groove inside the 3D object. Uh, cross, so cross line, yeah, this is a cross line. This is a cross line, yeah, cross line. Uh, this is behind the 3D object, so it is not seen from from the uh, front view, uh, front view uh, plane. So it is the cr that cross line is used uh, is uh, drawn by using hidden line. Okay, we call it hidden line. All right. And surface limit too. Surface limit. The the cylinder inside the 3D uh, 3D object. So surface limit is. Uh, uh, drawn by using uh, hidden uh, outline. Okay, so we are, uh, use a thin dashed line to draw uh, the hidden hidden outline. Uh, center line it is used to, to uh, show the feature uh, of the center of of the circle, center of the arc, center of the ball, and also the uh, also the axis of cylinder and cone. So uh, it is you uh, use a thin single chain line to draw uh, the center line. So here, here this is the center line, okay? The center line and the, uh, this is a circle center. So a center line for the uh, two circles, okay, center line. And center line for arc center, so center line. And uh, center line for the axis, cylinder axis, axis, okay, cylinder axis, cylinder axis, okay, all right. And uh, and there are many many uh, chances that uh, uh, two lines coincide. Or, or maybe uh, the visible outline and the hidden line is at same location, so it is overlapped. Then in the case, uh, each line has its own priority, precedence. So, so the priority or precedence is like this. So visible outline has top priority, and then hidden line, cutting plane line, and center line. Which means that if a hidden line and center line coincide, then, then hidden line is dominated. So hidden, only hidden line is uh, uh, drawn. You do you do not need to uh, uh, draw center line because it's overlapped exactly. So uh, so priority is like this. And cutting plane line maybe you, I'm going to explain it at the later uh, lectures. So don't worry about it. And and uh, there is uh, some chance that letters and symbols are overlapped onto the uh, uh, onto the uh, uh, visible uh, visible outline. Maybe then in the case, maybe visible line is cut cut out and make it space, and then I put symbols and letters on it. But this is not recommended. Not recommended. So. 
uh, please do not use that uh, much. Uh, just in the specific case, you may use it. So, but it is not recommended anymore. Uh, okay, all right. Okay. Um, oh, I, 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 one thing I forgot is that if the circle is so small, circle is so small, so it cannot accommodate any center line, the dashed uh, ch single chain, single chain line, then, then it's okay that you may use a thin full line. It's okay, okay, if the circle is so small, all right? All right, okay, uh, now, uh, if uh, uh, a, a line projected, uh, maybe using orthographic projection, and, and if you try to uh, make a, a multiple drawing, then uh, maybe a line may be projected to a, a, a true line, or shorter line, or or a point. Uh, for example, AE, AE, uh, the line AE. Since this is a uh, AE is parallel to the top view plane, so on the top view AE, top view this is a true line projected to the top view plane as a true uh, true line, true line. It means that the length is the same. Uh, uh, length is the same to the uh, real uh, real line. Okay, length same, true line. And also, uh, it is projected to the front of you as a point, AE point, right? And and also AD, uh, maybe uh, there is an inclined line, inclined line like AD. Maybe AD uh, line AD is parallel to the uh, top view plane but it is not parallel to the front view or side view. So it is parallel to only one projection plane, then we call it inclined line. So two lines projected. In the case AD, AD is uh, projected to the true, li true, uh, true length, true line to the, to the uh, uh, top view plane. Since top view, top view plane is parallel to the line AD, but in front of you, AD is smaller, and AD here, AD is smaller to the side of you and uh, front of you. Okay, shorter line, uh, projected shorter line. We call it uh, inclined line. And oblique line is uh, the sample, the example is line BD, BD, okay? It is not parallel to any plane, it is not orthogonal to any plane. So it is just inclined to any planes. So then we call it uh, uh, this uh, line as an oblique line, and, and all BD is projected to any uh, projection plane uh, short, as a shorter line. Okay? All right. And plane. A plane uh, can be projected to a, a true plane or a smaller plane or line, okay? So, so maybe uh, maybe a, a line B, a plane B, plane B, plane B is parallel to the top view. So, so B is projected to the to the, the top view as a true true plane, true plane, uh, true true shape, true plane B. Okay. Also A. A is A is true uh, true uh, shape, true plane. C also C is parallel to the front view plane, so it is projected to the front view plane as a true uh, true uh, plane. C, but uh, inclined plane uh, is a plane D E F for D here D E. Where is E E F? It's a uh, it, it, we call it inclined plane. Uh, the characteristic is that it is orthogonal to one projection plane. Okay, so maybe uh, F. F is orthogonal to the front view plane. So it is projected to the front view plane as a true length, a line, true line. Okay, so. Uh, to, to the, so two line projected, and to the other planes, a smaller plane are projected. So F, smaller plane, and F, 
this is f smaller plane. Okay. Now, oblique plane, plane G, plane G. This is this has the ab arbitrary angle uh, other than 90 degree to any plane. So it is uh, so we call it oblique plane. So it is projected to all planes as a shorter shape, smaller shape, smaller shape. So G and G, 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 smaller, uh, smaller shape. Okay, all right. And th these are the examples of projected surfaces. So it is, there are many cases. So you should be very careful about it. You see, two rectangular, uh, rectangular shape, but maybe. This shape can be projected like this, but also this inclined plane projected like this. There are so many cases, so you don't, uh, you don't need to have any bias uh, 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 feeling if you want to see the, uh, multi see the drawings and do not try to decide that, oh, it is two planes. No, uh, there are many cases, so you should be very careful about it. This is two circles, but maybe this is a two projected like this, but this shape also projected like this. Same, same shape. Yeah, this case, this case, this case, there are many cases. So, so you have to be very careful about uh, what real 3D shape is projected like this, okay? Okay, and uh, now I'm going to explain the method to make a multi drawing. And uh, now, an uh, example, uh, looking, at, uh, uh, looking at this 3D uh, shape, maybe. Uh, please look at uh, this 3D, uh, 3D shape. Then maybe you can uh, finish, uh, the, uh, in first step is to finish the front view. How you finish uh, the front view? Uh, now you need uh, some uh, rulers which has the units on it, okay? Then, uh, then uh, from the uh, information, from the 3D shape, dimension in information, you may, the, the ruler with the unit, you may, you may, uh, uh, you may find some uh, a point here according to the dimensions of the 3D shape. Then uh, make a vertical line, auxiliary, auxiliary line, uh, okay? How can you make these lines? Parallel line? Yeah, you may use two uh, triangle uh, rulers, okay? And then, uh, then the height information, you can catch it from the uh, 3D object, dimension information. You, you ruler with the unit, you may find out the point, okay? You may find out the point. Then make, a, make a, a parallel lines using the two triangle uh, rulers, okay? And then uh, you, you, there are some uh, cross points of the vertical line and horizontal line. Then using that point, uh, you, you can finish uh, uh, the front view. Now, from the front view, uh, transfer all height information using the uh, parallel lines to the to the uh, place where the uh, uh, side of view located, and 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 then uh, and also uh, uh, depth information uh, you can catch it from the uh, dimensions uh, of the 3D shape, and then uh, uh, same way uh, make a vertical lines. Then you can you can get many cross points of the horizontal line and vertical lines. Then using that uh, cross, uh, cross point, you, you can finish uh, the right side view. Then you transfer all width, width, uh, depth information and width information to the uh, place where the uh, top view uh, may be located, uh, like using the 45 degree uh, auxiliary line like this. So then uh, depth information from the right side view going up, up, and if we cross the 45 degree uh, auxiliary line, then it is line, then uh, it is uh, uh, 90 degree, uh, 90 degree 
uh, curved and it is uh, it is going like this. So it is going like this. It is going like this. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, depth information. Depth information transferred to the place where the top view uh, may be located. Then also uh, the widest information going up from the front view. Then there are so many cross, cross points of the horizontal line and vertical line. Using that points, you can finish uh, the top view successfully. Okay. So this is the, the method to make a multi-view drawing. All right. And maybe uh, from the uh, from the three D object, maybe you cannot finish uh, the front view first. So in the case, you may finish uh, the right side view here, like this. And then uh, transfer the height information from the uh, right side of view to the place where the front view may be located. And also uh, depth information from the 3D object and make a vertical line. Then uh, using the crossing points, you can finish the front, uh, front view. Next step is to finish the top view, which is the same way as in the previous slide. So you can finish the top view, okay? This is the method to make a multi-view drawing. Now, um, now I'm asking you to practice as much as possible to make a multi-view drawings from the, the given 3D object. So, so, um, so, for example, uh, this is a 3D object which has so many inclined surface, inclined surface. So. Maybe this is the inclined surface, then this is a multi-view drawings. Now, please practice that from the di given this is 3D object, you, you have to find out this multi-view drawing very successfully. Please practice, okay? This is not homework, but I ask you practice, all right? This is a, another, another 3D uh, object, and this is a multi-view drawing. You have to practice it. All right. Okay, and this is another multiple drawings with oblique planes. Okay, and B O is oblique plane. Then you uh, have to finish uh, the uh, multiple drawing like this. Please practice. And this is also another ex another uh, task you have to uh, practice. All right. Please practice uh, as much as possible. Don't forget that this is to learn language, graphic language. Learning frequent, uh, fluent language, you need uh, many practice, okay? Please do not learn the language by using only I, all right? So, okay, so this is uh, the home, second homework. So you have to draw a multiple drawing uh, for uh, this oblique block four, select the dimensions as you wish, as you wish. So it depends on you what dimension it is. But it has to be inside the A4 size uh, drawing paper. And do, not, and do not erase all auxiliary lines you made. Maybe it includes 45 degree auxiliary line. You have to uh, make it and, and it is, you do not need to erase it, okay? All right, so this is a uh, practice, okay? Uh, this has been the first lecture, okay? Thank you very much.